In your quick search PHP, note that you're retrieving using underscore post because it's a form rather than dollar underscore request, which would be from a link. When we set up the form, we set up values for the options of all, quote, author and subject. In our quick search PHP, we're going to change the search type to match those values. Your first step should be to clean out most of the content in our if else if block. You want to replace it so that we can check for a quote, an author, a subject, or everything. You'll see in a moment why I've put the or at the end. For now, we're going to leave our SQL condition blank, and we're going to put our heading at the end of our block so that it just has the search term and the quotes. Then underneath where I retrieve the search type, I can go ahead and set up some searches. And the first search I'm going to set up is to match a result that is within a quote. Then for my SQL condition, I can simply say where we have our quote search, and it's going to put in this content here. And we can check that this works by looking at one of our quotes, taking a word from inside the quote, like novel, and make sure that you search within the quote. And as you can see, the quote that we requested came up, and in this case, there's only one quote that has the word novel inside. I'm going to do something similar for our subject search, and in this case, we need to check that the quote is in any one of our three possible subjects. And of course, it means when we get our SQL condition, we're wanting to use our subject search. And in this case, we can put in hum, and we're going to go subject. And humor quotes should definitely turn up. And as you can see, I've got humor. And anything with the string hum in a subject is going to appear. For our author search, we want to be able to search across columns. So if users put in a first name and part of a last name, we still want the result to appear. Please go to your functions.php code. And we're going to make a slight change. In our select statement, underneath where we have our author, we're going to go ahead and concatenate the name so that we can get a full name as a separate column. In results PHP, we can use full name to find the author's full name. And that means we don't need to concatenate the first, middle, and last. We can return to our page, choose any quote, and confirm that it still works correctly. Then in our quick search PHP, we can set up a name search. And it is OK to have concatenate both as part of our function and as part of the WHERE clause. Note that we need to do two things. We need to concatenate the first, middle, and last name. And we also need to concatenate just the first and the last name, remembering to have our semicolon at the end of the line. And if we do an author search on the string Doug, it's going to come up with Douglas Adams. And if we do a search on Jane Orr, which is part of a last name, it's going to come up with Jane Austen. Our else condition is the same as searching for all, so within a quote, author, or subject. And we can do it like this. We're going to use the variables we set up earlier and say if it matches the name search, or the quote search, or the subject search, we want to return results. So if I go ahead and search for woman, you'll notice that we get it coming up as a subject and also inside the quote. So at this stage, we've completed the front end of our website database outcome.